you know, visually things look like they're getting a little bit back towards normal. That is until you look at the uh, flight board and you still see a couple of flights canceled here this morning, specifically American Airlines to Dallas and uh, Delta to Salt Lake City. Uh, that's a 10 a.m. flight. That Salt Lake City one, that one canceled as well as that 7 a.m. flight. But we are starting to see more green on time than the yellow delays. So that's good news as we're making some progress. But take a look because this is some video throughout the airport throughout the early morning hours showing the um, ongoing impact from this outage and that is uh, people who were on red eye flights last night who boarded around that 10 a.m. hour uh, 10 p.m. hour their flights actually returned to the gate they were told to deplane they had to come down to baggage claim to grab their luggage and now some of them struggling to find new flights to get out of town one of those who is on a flight fortunately today to leave and they are confirmed a group of 25 who were on a mission to Nicaragua. How are they doing? Well, listen. We were on the plane at 1030 last night with 25 of our group headed to Nicaragua and stayed on that plane for about three hours. And then we're told to get off and get the luggage. And how hopeful are you to actually get out of here this afternoon? I am incredibly hopeful. Um, only looking on the bright side as best we can. We've made it through the evening so far. Uh, sleeping, made it through an Uber to McDonald's and... Uh, <laughs> you make that sound so easy, but this is a mission trip involving teens as well. How this is, Has it been challenging? A lot of young people, a lot of teenagers, really good spirits so far. It is a mission trip. I think we're learning before we, obviously, we're learning before we even go. Uh, been challenging, but that's all right. Everybody's what's got What's the good message spirit. that you're learning? What's the message that we're learning? Trust the Lord, His timing, and uh, make your plans in pencil. And the reason for making plans in pencil is because things remain fluid. Again, while the situation is resolved for the IT, uh, there's still that ripple effect that's uh, still reverberating through flights, and that is uh, many of the flights leaving here this morning, specifically on American, Delta, and United, are delayed or were delayed departing from here, some of those between an hour and an hour and a half. But we are starting to see more on times being listed on the flight board than delays as we're moving through the rest of the morning. Still got those two cancellations, though, here. And then there's those arriving flights that are also impacted. So the best advice from airport officials here is if you have a flight going out or if you're picking up someone who's supposed to be arriving, check ahead with the airline online or on the uh, Sacramento National's uh, flight board to make sure that flight is either departing or arriving when it says it's supposed to because the uh, ripple effect from this outage overnight continuing this morning. Luckily, that group from uh, that church group is on their way. Still a whole nother group sitting here hoping to get on flights at some point today. Live inside Terminal A, Mike Sell, KCR Ray 3 News.